Hey guys, Russ Cahoon here. So for today's session, we're going to talk about a common question I get from the field all the time, which is how is XDR different from SIEM tools? That's a very valid question. So SIEM stands for Security Incident and Event Management. And these platforms are designed to collect all the security events and logs in a single place for enterprises. XDR is all about improving security teams' ability to detect, to understand, and respond to attacks across the IT infrastructure uh, in a more effective and efficient way. So there are some similar elements, but there's also a lot of key differences, which I'll highlight in this video. One of the main requirements for XDR platforms is that all the event data be stored in a common data format. And this is usually a central data lake so that it could be understood across product and tool silos. This is something that Gardner refers to as uh, normalization of data. And traditionally, SIEMs haven't been able to achieve this. Another key difference between SIEM and XDR platforms is the incident response capability. So with SIEMs, you're traditionally jumping between multiple products and tools and consoles to uh, investigate and take action. With XDR, uh, a lot of the incident response capabilities are built right into the platform and you can take action doing things like killing processes or isolation, quarantining, uh, or even you know, root cause analysis, threat hunting and querying. Another big difference is that XDR platforms usually have cloud native architecture. And this is because of the advanced compute and storage required to perform a lot of the correlation algorithms, the machine learning processing and analytics that are going on behind the scenes. Seams are very broad in the sense that they collect a lot of data from various data sources, different tools, different vendors. Um, but they're shallow in the sense that sometimes the context of the data and the quality of the data is limited. In XDR, it's much more focused uh, because they're receiving a limited number of data sources uh, and the context is much richer because the data is typically from a single vendor and uh, it's a common data format which integrates out of the box. So SIEMs also require a lot of tuning and development work in order to make them effective and integrate properly. It requires constant updating on you know, what's anomalous versus normal activity. Uh, and traditionally, SIEMs don't do a very good job at addressing the uh, alert fatigue problem. This is what XDR is designed to do. So SIEMs also, uh, they can be a little pricier because usually you're charged for data ingestion. And you know, oftentimes you can be receiving duplicate alerts when it comes to uh, different signals and, and tools producing those alerts. XDR also helps reduce and simplify a lot of the security operations work uh, that would usually be prone to human error and they, it does that with automation and uh, predefined rules and criteria and APIs. This really helps address the skill shortage that you know the security industry is, is facing right now. And SIEMs also don't necessarily get a lot of the underlying metadata feeds that uh, you know provide a lot of the context around detection and response tools. Um, so in short to wrap it up, XDR really takes away a lot of the heavy lifting with initial configurations, operations, tuning, uh, and jumping between the different consoles involved with you know your traditional SIM. And it provides a quicker time to value and effectiveness out of the box uh, for security teams. So stay tuned for next week and my briefing because I'll be talking about cloud security, switching gears a little bit and uh, talking about some of the recent news uh, relating to cloud security incidents. Take care.